Okay, in this section, I'm going to go over how to draw uh, component parts of a bookshelf or any type of object. So you have to kind of break the object up into pieces and then show what your pieces are. So you can see right away I have two sides to this thing. I have one, two, three, four shelves. <clears throat> and the very bottom, I actually have what's called a kick plate. So the kick plate goes along the bottom um, and is about six centimeters tall. And uh, we can figure out how, how long it is right now. So for the sides, which are pro probably the easiest part, I can break those apart right now. I have each side is essentially a rectangle. And if you see that the rectangle is 150 centimeters from the bottom all the way to the top, so we have 150 centimeters, and the length or the width of these things are 30 centimeters wide. And I would have two of them because there's one on each side. Okay. We could also talk about the width being two centimeters, but essentially I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, length and width of these things, or I mean the, I guess that would be the length and, or the height and depth. So the next thing I have are these shelves. The shelves are again rectangular. How many do I have? I have one, two, three, four of them. And then each of these, it looks like they're 94 in length, but if you see 94 actually goes to the very edge. And it doesn't account for this little amount here and the little amount there. And that little amount is actually two centimeters, right? So I have two centimeters there, and I have two centimeters on either side. So that actually makes the width of the shelf from the inside to the inside only 90, because I have to subtract off four, two for each side. So they're actually only 90 centimeters long, not 94. So be careful of that. In the book, it asks you questions, and you have to be really careful. Does it go all the way to the top? Is there a part that I have to subtract off? Um, and so on. They, again, are 30 centimeters wide. So those are my shelves. The kick plate at the bottom, it's going to be this little piece of wood that goes in the bottom just to cover up the bottom so you can't see right underneath and uh, dust and stuff can't get underneath. It's actually a nice, nice feature. How long is this one? Is it the same as the shelves? Yeah, it is, right? We have two centimeters on either side, 94 for the whole length, but because I have to subtract off the two, it's only 90 centimeters. I only have one of these two, one at the bottom. And again, the width is 30, so it should be the same, uh, the same width as the other ones. It's going to be 90, actually, sorry, it's actually going to be six centimeters because the kick plate actually goes up and down. So it's going to be six centimeters up and it's going to be 90 across. It's not going all the way to the back. It's just going in the front and slipping right underneath there. Um, typically what we're doing is we're drawing uh, our exploded diagrams or we're drawing out the component pieces to show what should be included in your package, right? Another thing I would have to look at are the screws, right? So there's a whole bunch of screws that are in included here. And how many are we going to have? Well, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for each side. So you'd have 18, right? So typically when you get your piece of paper for the thing that you're building, you can see all the dimensions for the object, what pieces are supposed to be included so you can organize it, um, get all your stuff ready, and then build your shelf. That's the whole purpose of having a component view of this.